Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a route on a map using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you need to give directions to your event or location? Do you want to provide a visual representation of where the event is and what route people should take? If so, then this video might come in handy. We're going to go over how to draw a route on a map using Doodly whiteboard software. Now this can be done for any type of map, but we're going to use Google Maps as an example. As you can see here, I've created a short video about an upcoming fictional event. And I'd like to add a scene at the end showing everyone how to get to the venue from a major landmark. In this example, we'll use the San Diego Convention Center as our venue, and I'll use San Diego's airport as the starting point. So the first thing, obviously, that you're going to need is a map. So let's head over to Google Maps. You'll see here I've got my map of San Diego, and I've already entered San Diego International Airport as my starting point, and San Diego Convention Center over here as my ending point. It's going to take them about 11 minutes, and it's 3.9 miles. All they do is they follow North Harbor Drive along the route, like so. So it's pretty simple, and we are going to show them how to do it using Doodly. The first thing that we're going to want to do is get rid of the route itself. This is just for our purposes to know, okay, this is where we're going. So how do you do that? Well, you just click that X and now the route's gone. So we know we want to start over here on North Harbor and do that. But I find it's a little confusing with all this information on the map. So we want to go down to layers down here, click more, and let's turn off labels. That's going to simplify the map for us. Once you've done that, now you may want to reposition the map a little bit. We know the airport's here and the convention center's down here. This is a major highway, Highway 8, and then another one, I-5. So we probably want to label those, so that's why I want to move it down just a little. And I think that should be just fine for our purposes. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And close this. Now we just need to take our screenshot. Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and take my screenshot. Okay, now that I've created my screenshot, I did go ahead and edit it down a little bit. I cropped it just to get rid of my open tabs that I had in Google and to get rid of some of that extra Google branding on the top. So let's go to our second scene and we're going to go ahead and import it. Go to props, click the blue plus sign and drag your file in. Okay, now I have my very basic map here. You can decide how large you want it to be. I think I want it to pretty much fill the screen. Now I'm gonna add some labels. I'm gonna add that this is I-5 and this is I-8, okay? These don't need to be big. They just need to just, just to help people get the lay of the land. Now, of course, we need to label our destination and starting point. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, if this is an area you're not familiar with, you might want to refer back to the original map. Now, let's add some little markers onto our map. So if you go over to props, and search for the word map. You should find this little map pointer here. So let's go ahead and add it. So that's where we're gonna be starting. And let's put it behind the words. Or maybe we'll make the words come down. So that tells them where they're starting. And let's go ahead and copy it because I like the size. And let's put this over here for our convention center. So now we have it laid out. How do we get the route onto there? We know it's this road and it's just gonna wind down. But all you need to do 
is choose a font and I like to pick a fairly bold one. Let's use bangers. And you can go in and you can type in an underscore. I'm gonna make mine red. And that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna just copy this over and over along the root. And that's going to have the hand draw it on. Now, by default, it's one and a half seconds long to draw this underscore, which is gonna be way too long. So I'm gonna go down here and change it to about a half a second. And I think that should be just fine. And one of the reasons I like to use this underscore rather than one of the arrows or shapes is because I can make it really small or really large, okay? But I'm gonna want it pretty small to fit on my road here. Now we can zoom in a bit and we can place our underscore where we want it. So once I have it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, Control C or Command C and then Control V or Command V to paste it. And I'm just gonna move the second one. And you wanna be careful because sometimes you accidentally move the wrong one, but I did okay there. And then, once again, I'm gonna just move this over. So I'm just hitting Command V or Control V over and over paste it and then I'm just moving it over and now as we get over here we want to start adjusting so you just use this little rotate tool to do it and let's just check real quick to make sure that I'm getting these in the right order so that's my first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh and eight, so I'm doing finite. So far I haven't gotten any in the wrong spot. And now we gotta get around this little corner here. Now I'm gonna copy this one because it's in the right rotation. And this can get a little tedious, but it, it really doesn't take a whole long time. It doesn't take long at all. In this case, let's make this one just a little smaller for our turn here. It's a pretty sharp turn. And then I just copied that one because it's in the right rotation for me. Okay, so now we have our route and it should be good. Let's see. A few little fine tuning things I want to do. I want to turn this so that it fades on rather than scribbles on. So I did that, I went to the pencil icon and I chose the fade mode rather than the reveal. And then I want to make sure that I'm happy with the order. I also don't need three seconds, so we'll do two seconds on that. And then this will draw on. And then let's have I8 come on first. And this can be really short, we don't need a lot of time to do that. And the same with I5. And then, do we want the marker first or the name? I think the marker. Again, do I want three seconds? No. One and a half should be more than enough. And we want to decide what comes first, the airport marker or the convention center. I think the airport marker should come first. And I'm gonna then go San Diego International Airport. One and a half seconds. And that one's one and a half seconds and then that should be fine and then we have our route you know what let's have the map already be on and our interstates can already be marked on let's add a little extra time at the end here okay we should be good to go now let's take a peek
And that's the basics of creating a route on a map in Doodly. Thanks for watching!